Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Hymns of praise and let us sing. Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King. Alleluia. Who endured the cross and Alleluia, sinners to redeem and save. Alleluia, but the pains which he endured. Alleluia, our salvation have procured Alleluia Now He reigns above us King Alleluia Where the angels ever sing Alleluia Sing with to our God above, Alleluia. Praise eternal, us is love, Alleluia. Praise Him, all ye heavenly hosts, Alleluia. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Lord has risen from the dead, as he said. Let us all exalt and rejoice, for he reigns for all eternity. Alleluia. Brethren, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, we ask the Lord to grant us pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I express my virgin, all angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God our Father. Amen. Let us pray. O 
O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know, this man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God. You killed useless law lawless men to crucify him, but God raised him, releasing him from the, th the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted my flesh to will dwell in hope. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jew, Jesus. Of this we all are witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, Keep me safe, safe, O God, God you, you are, are my hope. hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, you are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me, me safe, safe, O Lord, God, you, are you are my hope. hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts him. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe, O God, you are, you are my, my hope. hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, safe O God. God. You Lord. are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delight at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O God. God. You Lord. are my hope. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Keep me safe, O oh God, for you are my hope. The message of the Lord is very strong and clear today as we hear the good news. As we reflect on the gospel, number one, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were overjoyed, yet the humble fear that they have in their heart, knowing that Jesus had risen from the dead. Brothers and sisters, this is the biggest news in our history, and it was entrusted to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, the women who have this love for God and devotion to the Lord, and they were the first to visit him also in his tomb. Again, um, it breaks down a lot of probably our uh, judgments on people, um, especially at the time of Jesus, women were not supposed to be witnesses, yet they were chosen to be the witnesses of the biggest news of Christ's resurrection. Uh, why? Because they love the Lord. And I'm sure that's the path to uh, a good relationship to anyone, that they have devotion and they have love. God. And so Mary Magdalene um, and the other Mary uh, passed the news to the disciples of Jesus and uh, it starts, uh, it started our church. It started the, the change of everything that changed everything uh, in the world. And uh, today also we heard Jesus giving us the message of not being afraid, uh, do not be afraid. Uh, he said to Mary and the other Mary, uh, it's a very important news for all of us uh, not to, to be afraid of anything because we have our Lord who rose from the dead, who conquered death and the wage of sin has been vanquished and we are given the assurance that we too who believe in him will rise from the dead. And lastly, uh, it's noteworthy to uh, say that uh, some people were uh, manufacturing lies. For example, the chief priests and the elders uh, via bribery, via deceit, and misleading people. Uh, we still hear the same thing in, in our time. We call it fake news, but uh, there are many, there are many forms of lies uh, in contrast with the truth that Jesus rose from the dead. Again, um, I'm sure that's the work of Satan. Uh, anything that is deceitful, anything that is not true, anything that distracts us from the good news, anything that makes our heart uh, afraid of 
of something, uh, we are distracted. So again, uh, let's focus on the best news that we have every day. We have to wake up with this good news every day that Jesus rose from the dead. It's really an Easter time. And when it's Easter time, I'm sure no darkness can penetrate the heart. No fear that will be, that will invade our heart. Not even the disease that still with us. We ask the Lord to grant us courage, devotion, and love, and worship to him who rose from the dead, Jesus Christ. Amen. As he said that when we gather in his name, he is with us. We offer our petitions and prayers. We pray for our Pope Francis, that the Lord may protect him, guard him, and inspire him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders, that they may come together to work for common good and uh, help people, especially those who are suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in the front line, uh, for our doctors, nurses, medical staff, researchers, that the Lord may give them inspiration to work and uh, make vaccine for the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the afflicted, those who are suffering in this time of crisis, that they may find help through the good people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have passed away, especially those uh, who suffered and died from the virus. That the Lord may grant them mercy and eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our intentions in silence. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it becomes our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept graciously, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by the confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Antonio Lim, Dr. Tony de la Cruz, Dorothy Lim, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, the bless, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christian peace. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, heal me. Blood of Christ, drench me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, shelter me. From turning away, keep me. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, hold me. Into your presence, lead me. To praise you with all your saints forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way to eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi Letare, Alleluia. Quia que meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicudixit, Alleluia.